We're so excited to have you guys here. Uh, thank you everybody for coming out. Just want to make sure that you guys are reacting along with the players. So feel free to kind of stay where you are. Like I said, if you want to watch the game here and in the stream room is definitely where you want to be. Uh, the guys are going to come here in a little bit and they're going to get super fired up uh, to have you guys here. So let's get some energy. Let's get excited. Uh, So basically, we want to uh, tell everyone that we appreciate y'all coming out and thank you for all the support that y'all give us to basically just focus on playing the game. Because without y'all, this wouldn't be possible and y'all make our job easier. Just want to say thank you and we appreciate you all. We're going to do our best to get this book for y'all today. The biggest thing we did this offseason, we watched every single one of these guys play live. And that was like a far and few between. That wasn't something we did in seasons past. And why we did that is we want to see who you are and who these guys are when their backs are against the wall. Because uh, that's when that real fight, that real demeanor, that real honesty of who you are as a person comes out. And what we saw on stage from these five guys was fight. Smooth! Smooth, let's go! Gentlemen, this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. If you give me attitude, I will put my John Brown boots up your behind, and then you will run a mile. Has everybody seen Remember the Titans? Everybody gets that reference? Okay, great. Awesome. Three more. We don't skip the work. We got three more. I think the biggest thing with training kind of your traditional professional athletes, you do a needs analysis in the off season and you look at what the demands of their sport physically are. And then you go ahead and create like periodized programs for the entire off season for them to improve and peak right towards the season. Whereas for an esports athlete, it's a little bit different because there's little to no like actual physical requirement. A lot of it is mental. And we know that being a well-trained individual, even just going to the gym and being healthy, there's so much research behind how that improves cognitive function, awareness, right into the fire. Let's go, Manny. You got it. I know it's burning, I know it's burning. But the fundamental point is training floods dopamine into the body. When they're feeling good, they're gonna practice well. And when they practice well, the hope is that they'll play well. There's almost no separation between kind of life and then coming to your job, because a lot of what they do is online anyway. So I think what this does is it gives them that separation, but it also teaches them valuable skills that they can then apply when they are practicing for their sport. I think having a team workout, you realize, you know, when someone's lacking, that you gotta do different things to pick them up. And when you're lacking, you gotta find that grit. You gotta find that mentality to just keep pushing through. And just moving as one body is gonna be, even if you're an individual, it's gonna be so much more useful to you as a collective. Turn. Woo! One. Turn. One. Turn. Oh, there you go. Turn. There you go. Don't do me like that. Right. Oh! Two. Home is a champ, man. Right there, bro. It's crazy. Hey, well done, man. All right, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Point, point, man. Go ahead and break him down, please, bro. All right, bro. Good work today. Uh, uh, hard work on three, family on six. One, two, three, four, four, four five, six. Family. Let's go. Great work today, boys. Yes, sir. Oh. No, I didn't really leave Philly. I'm, I'm not that big of a traveler. I like, um, I hate, I hate flights. I hate them. That's why it's ironic that Sacramento is my favorite place. But I literally like, I hate, I hate long flights. I hate sitting on the plane for all that time.
I didn't really travel that much at all when I was younger. Um, so coming to the league, it was definitely a new experience as far as like traveling. I got to really like, you know, expand my horizon and get out. I, f I feel like kind of being in an airport, like, I feel like if you're in an airport, it kind of makes you feel like, I don't know, like a movie star or something, like traveling like that. I don't know, it's cool. Like, just, it never gets old to me, to be honest. I'm more of a homebody, but if people want to travel and they always ask me, I always go. Need something to do besides stay in the crib. It gives me flashbacks of how I felt when I was a kid, like playing sports and trying to make it to the big leagues. And then now it's like I'm experiencing it, but like in a different, in a different aspect. So it's pretty cool though. I enjoy it. I always say it's always being more confident and being myself at home. Like being on stage, I make it, well, people may get jitters and stuff. Maybe their first time playing on stage, they may not be used to people. People probably would say me being more of the quiet side because I really don't talk that much trash. But I feel like if you if you bark at me, I'm going to bark back. That's just how it is. My mom doesn't like it. She doesn't like when I get all rowdy and loud. But I mean, it's just it's kind of who I am. So I, I told her I was going to try to like chill. But like if we are on stage playing next week and the other team gets to talking crazy to me, like. I gotta respond. I, I gotta, I gotta bounce back. Like, I can't just let them talk to me crazy and just sit there. I never played on the 2K League stage before. Something I want to like check off the box for my rookie year. You know, me, Mooch, and Hom are all you know newer to the league, so we're just gonna be getting our feet wet on that stage. Actually, being able, you know, to be up there. Last time we went to DC, we were just watching. This time we actually, you know, get to play. So. For, for me, I always say it's always a business trip. I don't never look at it as just a road trip. It's always we going there and we trying to make some money. A lot of teams kind of like stay with like their core three. And if it wasn't, like if it didn't work, they stay with it instead of like trying different people. Um, we don't have that issue with our team. We actually have five guys who actually can compete at that game mode. Um, so I feel like we have a really good shot going into the still um, with the five that we have. So we knew going into the season, we sat here on draft night. We made decisions that we could be average at both game modes or we could really put a precedence on one. We put a precedence on 5v5. I and mean, we have a lot of rookies on this team. And just getting the experiences of how to act in the league, the things that make winning teams winning teams, that's something we've kind of got out of the way right now. So the guys know what it's like to travel, know what it's like to stay in a hotel room, know what it's like to have to load up on another monitor, know what it's like to have to, you know, show up for a scrimmage two hours in advance. 3v3 was constantly a fight to find the right lineup, the right three, the right fit. It was the mode that we had to adapt. We had to change things, we had to move things around, we had to maybe not try to beat teams straight up, but beat teams with a little bit of magic. But here, this is, like mano y mano, what we all come from, line up across a guy and, you know, beat him straight up. And this is what we're built for. We're built for 5v5. Every guy on this team knows we're built for 5v5. And I think they have that attitude that you need to have when you win, which is we're better than anybody in this league and we can beat anyone in this league on any given day. <laughs>